Members, today I rise to adjourn in the memory of basketball legend Elgin Baylor. Baylor was born September 16, 1934 in Washington, D.C. to John and Uziel Baylor. Growing up, he lived near a recreation center, but African Americans were banned from using that facility. As a result, he didn't start playing the game that would make him famous until he was 14 years old. As a high school senior, Baylor, standing at six foot five and 190 pounds, was the first African American to be named to the first team of the Washington All Metropolitan. He also won the Livingston Trophy as the area's best basketball player for the year 1954. That same year, he established a new DC area record, scoring 63 points in one game. In 1958, the then Minneapolis Lakers drafted Baylor as their number one pick at a time when the team was struggling to survive. Drafting someone so talented and promising, this was seen as the Minneapolis Lakers' last effort to save the franchise. And obviously, it worked. According to the Minneapolis Lakers owner in a 1971 interview, he admitted, if Elgin had turned me down, then I would have been out of business. The Lakers, can you imagine this? The Lakers would have gone bankrupt. Baylor earned Rookie of the Year honors in the 1958-1959 season, setting the stage for the rest of his career. He would go on to play 14 seasons for the Minneapolis and the LA Lakers, earning NBA All-Star honors 11 times with 10 first-team All-NBA appearances. After retiring from basketball in 1971, Baylor went on to serve as a coach for the New Orleans Jazz and Vice President of Basketball Operations for the LA Clippers. He was inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame in 1977, and his number 22 jersey was retired by the Lakers in 1983. Today, there's a statue honoring Elgin Baylor at the Staples Center in Los Angeles. According to the NBA commissioner, Elgin Baylor set the course for modern NBA as one of the league's first superstar players. The impact of Baylor's life and career is clear. Elgin Baylor passed away last month at March, on March 22nd at the age of 86 and is survived by a sister, his wife Elaine, and three children. And I ask that we adjourn in Elgin Baylor's memory.